Hi, my name is Maria Lagdis. I'm a plant biology major and I do berry crop research in the horticulture department here at NC State. I chose to do my project on Phytophthora crown rot of strawberry because I've encountered this disease very often in my field work with strawberries and I wanted to learn more about it. The disease has a very large impact on the strawberry industry. It is something that affects the production of the crop almost every season, particularly in North Carolina, where the temperate climate is very conducive to the spread of the disease. Phytophthora crown rot is something that's caused by the Oomycete Phytophthora cactorum, and it is a soil-borne pathogen that has its greatest effect in low-lying fields with poor drainage. It can be combated with soil practices such as fumigating or planting in raised beds, but it is still prevalent and impacts growth of strawberries almost every year. For my project, I chose to do colored pencil drawings of different symptoms of Phytophthora crown rot in strawberries. Here, I drew a healthy strawberry crown. You can see that the roots are a light brown and the crown is a tan. This is indicative of a healthy strawberry plant. The foliage at the top is also green, which means that it's healthy. Here, in comparison, I drew a crown infected with Phytophthora crown rot. You can see here that the roots are rotted and the growth at the top is discolored and stunted. That shows that the foliage is not getting the nutrients that it needs. But the most important feature of this picture is the crown itself. The crown rot has caused the crown to turn a dark reddish brown. This is the most important diagnostic feature of Phytophthora crown rot. It can be observed by pulling the crown out of the soil and cutting a cross section of the crown. If it is observed, it is likely that the other plants in that field are also infected. This is a picture of a healthy strawberry leaf. The whole leaf is a healthy green and the veins are a dark green. Here, in contrast, is a leaf with discolored tissue. This is indicative of the disease being present in the plant. You can observe that the veins are discolored and the discoloration is spreading to the edges of the leaf, showing that the damage to the tissue is spreading. This is a fairly defined line between the damaged tissue and the tissue that is still healthy. In a more extreme case, such as in this leaf, there's almost no green left on it and the entire leaf is discolored. This wilting is a symptom of the lack of nutrients that the plant is getting, causing the whole plant to collapse. So, as you can see, Phytophthora crown rot is a very serious disease in strawberries. It can cause entire plant collapse and is easily spread through a field via water, so it can cause widespread devastation to a strawberry crop. Strawberries are a very important crop in North Carolina, so it is important to combat this pathogen by taking good care of soil and doing what we can to prevent the spread of the pathogen. Thank you for watching my video.